we're going to deal with some problems where you're given uh, some values of some logarithms and then you have to use those values to try to uh, I guess approximate or calculate another logarithm value and used to all you would get was a was a you didn't have, before you had a calculator uh, that would do logarithms you uh, had a, a table of basic logarithms like uh, log base 5 is approximately log base uh, log base 10 of 8 is approximately this so used to that's all you get and you'd have to use the properties of logarithms to try to manipulate it and get a value so to do these we're going to try to approximate let's see what they give us they give us that log base 10 or just log I'm just going to say log anything base 10 you don't write the log so I'm just going to say log 5 is approximately 0 0.6990 they also say uh, log of 8 is 0 0.9031 those are both log, uh, base 10. They want you to approximate uh, log base 10 or log of 320. So we need to figure out what this is. Well, what you want to try to do is use the property of logarithms. And the idea is if there's some type of multiplication going on in here, you can split it up using addition. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this 320 using some somehow use 8 and 5, uh, 8 times 5 or something along those lines. And if you think about it, uh, 8 times 4 is 32. So 8 times 40, 8 times 40 would be 320. You're supposed to do all this without a calculator. And then 40 is the same thing as 5 times 8. So if you took uh, 8 times 5 times 8, that equals 320. Now I'm going to re rewrite the, it doesn't matter what order you multiply in. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to rewrite 320 as 8 times 8 times 5. And now you can use the properties of logarithms to separate these out. That's log 8 plus log 8 plus log 5. And I know what these values are. They're right here. So 0.9031 plus 0.9031 plus 0 0.6990 and I, I always line these up the other way I'm going to add these together and you wind up with two points just add them all together one and one makes two nine and six makes fifteen nine and one makes ten ten nine and sixteen makes twenty five 2.5052 and I you know just for giggles I'll use my calculator to, to back me up here just a basic calculator log of 320 2.5051 so it's it's a little bit off but it's okay so there's that question now they give us another one I'm trying to approximate logarithms they give us that log 7 is 0.8451 they give us that log 8.9031 and log 9.9542. We're going to use those values to approximate uh, log of 567 over 72. Now there's a property that says that you can, uh, if you have division, then it's subtraction, right? You can split it up using subtraction. So that's the same thing as saying log 567 minus log 72. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, 567, I have to use 7, 8, or 9 somehow to get 567. So uh, 567, let's just try. I don't know. I really don't know the, the power, the proper, the what I would multiply to get 560. I don't know my 7s, 8s, or 9s up to 567. I don't remember my multiplication tables up that far. So I'm going to do 567 divided by 7. I get 81. Now that rings a bell. 9 times 9 is 81. So we can rewrite the 567 as uh, 7 times 81. And 81 is the same thing as 9 times 9.
All right, minus log 72, well, that's, that's 8 times 9. Now I'm subtracting this whole thing, so let's make sure our signs are good. That's log 8 plus log 9. All right, that's what I split this up with, and there's a minus out front. All right, so now I'm going to split this up as well. That's log 7 plus log 9 plus log 9 minus log 8 minus log 9. And that log 9 will cancel with that negative log 9. So I've got to add these two together. And log 7 is 0.8451. Log 9 is 0.9542 minus log 8, which is 0 0.9031. So I'm going to add these together first. I like to put them underneath each other here. That makes 3, 9, 9, 17. Put your dot right there. And then we're going to subtract away the 0.9. Three minus one is two, six, nine, seventeen minus nine, eight. Point eight nine six two. And let's just see how close we are there. Uh, log of 567 over what? 72. Point eight nine six two. One of those. What is 567 divided by 72? Ah, I don't get a whole number, so. All right, so there we go. Estimating logarithms.